One of the most overlooked aspects of creating real demand in the marketplace as a coach or consultant is having a powerful personal brand. And no, I'm not talking about having a glamorous Instagram feed where you have photos of you with designer bags at the Ritz Carlton. A powerful personal brand goes beyond looking like you have money. In fact, for many of my clients, like executive coaches, leadership development experts, and strategists that market to the C-suite, that kind of branding doesn't even resonate. So how do you create a powerful personal brand as a coach or consultant that positions you as an expert in the marketplace. One that attracts high level decision makers that are willing to pay a premium for your expertise. That's exactly what we're going to dive into in today's video. By the way, if you enjoy this type of content, please be sure to hit like and subscribe so you know when each of my new videos drops. Hi, I'm Jessica Yarbrough, expert consultant, and my clients hire me to help them sell really high level deals. I've helped many established coaches and consultants to put together six figure to multiple six figure offers and successfully sell them to organizations. I've also helped coaches and consultants that sell career coaching, for example, to package those services and sell them for five figures. Personal branding is a core aspect of the strategy that I implement with my clients. So what exactly goes into a powerful personal brand? Well, first, if you want to build a powerful personal brand as a coach or consultant, your image is important. This is probably the most common thing that people think of when it comes to branding. Yes, your image and how you present yourself matters. You absolutely need to dress for next level success. And I get that the majority of us work from home and we're not sitting around in suits and dresses. Yet when it comes to your image and the way that potential clients are perceiving you, you need to dress for success. I had a client years ago and we were conversing on LinkedIn. He even said to me, I don't think I need your services. I already sell six figure packages. I actually responded to him with a list of things that are some of the common challenges for coaches and consultants that we work with that are stuck where he was, which was at the high six figure mark and trying to make it to seven figures. He then went and looked at my website, booked a call and invested six figures for my highest level program. He later shared with me that when he went to my website and looked through all of my materials, one of the things that impressed him most was my image. He said, you're so put together and professional, and this is exactly what I want to implement in my own business. So see, this is the power of perception. That initial image gave him confidence to take the next step and book a call. Then our conversation closed the deal. This is why your image is so important to creating a powerful personal brand. You only get one chance at a first impression. So what's the impression that you're leaving? Next, when it comes to how you're gonna build a powerful personal brand, you specifically um, need updated photos, right? There are so many coaches and consultants that are using photos that are a decade old. Have you ever gotten on a call with someone that's 20 years older than the photos they're using? It's unsettling. You need updated, fresh photos. Anyone can go out there and hire a photographer. All of my clients typically do this prior to working with me, and when they actually work with our photographer, it's a completely different experience. Again, you need to work with someone who really understands high-end branding and how to capture the right image unique to you and your brand. Absolutely, you should have fresh photos for your website, social media, and other assets. Do not fill your website with generic stock photos. Having the right personal brand photos will support your positioning from a visual perspective. Next, if you want to build a powerful personal brand as a coach or consultant, you should be using the right color palette, textures, and fonts. Many coaches and consultants that come to me have what I call weak branding, and we absolutely need to go in there and rework their visuals to ensure that they're using colors that appeal to their target market and textures and fonts that actually support their positioning. The branding that got you to your first 100,000 is not necessarily going to be the brand that gets you to your first million dollar year. So when it comes to the visual elements of your brand, we need to ensure that you are creating a certain feeling with your brand that's gonna resonate with your ideal clients. Also keep in mind that your current clients may not be your next level one. Many of the coaches and consultants that come to me to up-level their business end up going after a higher caliber market. I share that because who you're marketing to today might not be who you market to if you want to sell at an even higher level, meaning bigger deals, 
and a higher caliber client. Some coaches and consultants that hire me do stick with the same market, but after we transform their brand and implement our strategies, they're able to go after the decision makers and actually be viewed as an expert, taken seriously, and be paid a whole lot more money. Regardless of the direction we take, upgrading your brand colors, image, and photos are all part of that process. Next, if you wanna create a powerful personal brand, you absolutely need to have your messaging down. I would say 90% of the coaches and consultants that come to me have a fundamental communication issue. What happens is that a lot of entrepreneurs try to piece these things together, the, the things I've been sharing with you. They hire a brand person to get them a new color palette. Then they hire a copywriter to write them some new words, but they don't have a strategist who understands the bigger vision and can bring all of these elements together. Most of my clients who come to me have already invested in all of these things, but it's not correct. And for my clients who I specifically help shift to selling these multiple six-figure deals, all of these elements co being cohesive is key. So when it comes to your messaging, it's truly and deeply understanding who your next level ideal client is. The visual I use to describe this is that your ideal client is sitting in this valley of pain and they want to get to this mountain of potential. You have a clear understanding of both of those places and have created a bridge, which is your methodology or your solution of how you get your clients results. Now you be, need to be able to articulate all of that clearly, concisely, and powerfully. You can have a beautiful brand with great colors and textures and new photos. And if you don't have your messaging on point, none of that alone will work. There is power in your words. People need to get a sense of who you are and what you can do for them through the way that you write, the way that you speak, the way that you present yourself. So absolutely, dialing in your messaging is essential to creating a powerful personal brand as a coach or consultant so that you can be viewed as an expert and close those ultra high paying clients. By the way, if you haven't already downloaded my guide on the ladder of influence, I dive into the four levels of influence and how to successfully ascend to higher and higher your levels so you can make more income and impact. The link is pinned in the comments below. Finally, creating a powerful personal brand as a coach or consultant is also about carrying it through the entire customer journey. This means that there is a cohesive look and feel to all of the different touch points a potential client has all the way through to becoming then a paying customer. This means your brand image, photos, videos, and messaging all integrate seamlessly to your website, your funnels, your assets, and social media. If you've cobbled these pieces together, then you do not have a seamless experience from start to finish. From the very first interaction with you and your brand, your prospect should view you as a highly paid expert. Then every other interaction going forward should have that same feeling. And then once they purchase your services, that high quality look and feel should carry through to the delivery side experience. Coaches and consultants often make the mistake of only doing pieces of this journey. And if you want to create a quality experience, then you need to integrate next level branding and all of these different elements into every aspect of your customer journey. Once they're inside your program, that high quality look and feel continues, and this creates a positive experience for your client. This is why it's so powerful to work with an expert strategist that understands all of these different elements and how to integrate them into your customer experience. This way you can not only have a personal brand that attracts high-end clients, but you can also have a great customer experience so that they'll stay and refer others to you. This wraps up my video on how to build a per powerful personal brand as a coach or consultant. If you found this video valuable, please hit share so other entrepreneurs can hear this message. Until next time.